Last time I discussed the immoral thinking and behavior that comes about when individuals subscribe to atheistic ideologies. Today I want to discuss how a lack of belief in God or atheism and a rejection of religious moral frameworks leads to a deficiency of moral restraint and ethical boundaries, and makes it easier for individuals or regimes to justify and commit atrocities without fear of divine consequences. In atheistic regimes there is a heightened focus on promoting and enforcing a particular ideological framework, which leads to disregard for individual lives and human and rights if they conflict with the goals of the ideology. We see this in practice in some of the vilest atheistic regimes like the Soviet Union, People's Republic of China, and North Korea. These three regimes built on atheism have been responsible for the death of tens of millions of people, with estimates potentially exceeding 70 million. In addition to the loss of millions of people, these regimes are responsible for famine and food shortages, mass imprisonment, suppression of religion, and individual rights and freedoms. Humans by nature are creatures of worship and if we do not worship the divine, we will by default worship the profane. Whether it's our own identity, our belongings, or in the case of governments built on atheism, the state becomes the worshipped. Because atheistic regimes establish a strong state presence, the irony is the state itself takes on characteristics associated with religion, which leads to extreme devotion and obedience that fuels oppressive actions as we see on display in regimes that hold to atheistic ideologies. To put it in layman's terms, the state determines morality and a assumes the role of God. The denial of the existence of God leads to the worship of the profane and the death of objective morality, which results in moral relativism, which then leads to death, suffering, and the proliferation of evil in society. 